Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measurement, specifically how we can use time to solve problems, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So we see here we've got four times that uh, Carlos spent playing games, each time is reported in minutes, on a certain Saturday before his mom told him to get off and go outside and play. And so we need to figure out what is the total amount of time that Carlos spent playing Mario Kart, Fortnite, Overwatch, and Minecraft. We might think, oh, this is a simple problem. All we need to do is add up the minutes. So we'll start with that. It's going to be a little bit trickier than that. There's one final step that can kind of mess up some fourth grade students. But first, let's just add this up. So we've got 5, 10, 15. Let's see. I've got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I always like to make 10 if possible. 245 minutes. But guess what? Typically, when we get numbers over 60, when it becomes longer than an hour, we don't report time in minutes. We report it in hours and minutes. So how do we convert 245 minutes into hours and minutes? So that's the tricky part. So the only thing we need to know is that one hour equals 60 minutes. Now, there's various ways we can do this to, to get groups of 60 out. Let me show you two different ways. Uh, one would be you simply just take out each 60. So I'm just going to do repeated subtraction and each time I take a 60 out I'm going to circle it because that's going to be an hour. So first let me take this first hour out. That's going to be 185 minutes left. Let's take another hour out. Circle it. So that's going to be 125 minutes. Let me bring it up over here. And take another hour out, and you see we've only got 65 left. So I'm going to be able to take that last hour out, and I've got five minutes. So I've got one, two, three, four. So we could say four hours and five minutes. Sometimes it will be abbreviated like this. You have four Almost looks like 405, but this is how we show hours and minutes. Now, if you feel like you're up to two digit division, something you learn in sixth grade, you can simply take your 245, divide it by 60 minutes in an hour, and you will see that 60 goes into 240 four times. There's five left over, so that five is your minute. So there's your four hours and five minutes. Let's look at another problem. The other type of problem we can get with time is when we need to figure out when something began or when something ended. So we have a simple problem here. Cherie spent 45 minutes studying for science and 55 minutes practicing the piano. So let's add those two up real quick. So she spent 100 minutes. If she finished these activities at 6.30 p.m., what time did she start? So let's do this. Let's take our 100 minutes. Let's do the same thing. And let's uh, take out a 60, see if that gets us something more manageable. Yes, it's going to leave us with 40. Uh, so what we're going to have is one hour and 40 minutes. That's how long she spent with these two activities. So we need to see, that's the end time, so we need to go backwards in time, an hour and 40 minutes. So well, there's two different ways we can do that. We can draw ourselves a little clock. Sometimes that helps to visually keep track of time. So I just do the 12, 6, 9, and 3, and then I just kind of fill in the rest. That's how you can kind of keep track of your time, make sure everything is even. So we're going to put her end time at 6.30. So actually your minute hand and your hour hand are both going to be at 6.30. We need to go back an hour and 40 minutes. So if we go back an hour, it's just going to be 5.30. Now I need to go back 40 minutes. So I'm going to take my minute hand and I'm going to count this way in groups of 5 till I get back to 40. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. At this point, it is 5 o'clock. Because it was at 5.30, I've gone back 30 minutes, it's 5 o'clock. So 35, 40, so it's going to be 10 minutes before 5. So it's going to be 4.50 p.m.